Welcome to Are You Hungry? Tian Tian. Today we have a special story, special trip about a hero ship. Oh yes, a hero ship during the World War II, and the ship name is Jeremiah O'Brien. The ship was born in 1944. And it became one of the most heroic ship during the World War II era. It participated in the D-Day, the day where the Normandy was the deciding factor. So let's talk about. The Jeremiah O'Brien, the World War II SS, and it served as a primary cargo vessel for U.S. and Allies. So, in the next hour, we will be touring this hero ship, and this ship currently is located. In San Francisco, beautiful San Francisco, and it's right by the Fisherman Wharf. So if you come to San Francisco, this is a must see. If you have a choice between this one or to the Papa Nido. Submarine, which I have been to both, I will recommend you come to this one. Come to the SS Jeremiah O'Brien. It's a bigger ship. After all, it's a cargo ship, so there's is a lot to see, and it's a working ship, which means, oh yes. The bathroom is also working, so in case you have to go to restroom, you can come to Jeremiah O'Brien. And it took me about, I will say, two and a half to three hour to tour the ship. I basically was so humbled by the history. Of the ship, and I was really, really touched. So I want to be patriotic. I'm pretty sure all of you listening want to be patriotic. And、um, this is really amazing ship with amazing history, and I'm so humble. And today we. We will play in the background all the Navy top song from the YouTube library, which is、um, free of copyright. So you can enjoy the sight and the sound, and I will take you through the Jeremiah O'Brien. And let the story begin. And as you can see, the cannon is still working. It's mobile. You can, you know, try to、um, roll it. So you, the cannon will go up and down. And if you have another person that comes with you, can sit on the right. Can really control the direction. So I'm the sailor here. I brought. Oh yes, Jeremiah O'Brien. I brought a hat, and it costs about thirty dollar plus tax, thirty two, and it's really worth it. And I'm really a very humble to be on this ship. And that that began. A brief history about this ship. 
and this happened to be the only two that's still operational. It's called the Liberty ship, and it made they made total about twenty seven hundred and ten of them, and this is one of the two that's still operational. And it was assembled in 56 days. Oh yes, during the critical mid-1943. The Great Britain stood alone against Nazi Germany. And Germany was using the horse of the new boat to server the Great Britain's black plane. Oh yeah, you can shoot that plane. So the new boat began exacting a terrible toll on the British merchant fleet. Their ship was being destroyed faster than they could replace. So this is the time that U.S come to the rescue. We began mass production of the ship in a scale never seen before. Work around the clock in 18 shipyards across the U.S. And this is where the star, the hero ship, Jeremiah O'Brien was born in a shipyard in South Portland, Maine in mid-1943 assembled 40 in 56 days She's a veteran of both Atlantic and Pacific theaters of war Her wartime explorer includes seven Voyager and four transatlantic crossings, one down to South America and two in Pacific. But her greatest assignment was supplying the beach of Normandy during the D-Day invasion. invasion. The O'Brien made 11 shuttle missions between June and September 1944, delivering supply for the Allies to prosecute the war against Nazi Germany. At the conclusion of the war, the O'Brien found herself in Australia, her final wartime assignment would see her transporting the most precious cargo. O'Brien transferred nine Australian war brides and three children to San Francisco to start their new life. While these young women were starting their new life, O'Brien faced uncertain future placed into reserve fleet in 1946. She will sit quietly, wait for an assignment. In 1960, the plan was conceived to save Liberty ship. O'Brien was selected in 1979. to sail again through the 1980s. She cruised around San Francisco Bay on a regular basis. Little did she know her greatest feat was yet to come. On June 6, 1994, the O'Brien was off the coast of France Port du Hoc to commemorate the 50th anniversary of 
D Bay. The average age of the crew was 70 years old. I'm so touched and so inspired by the story. Let's continue. Today, the Orion still regularly cruise and serve as a museum dedicated to preserving and teaching the history of Liberty Ship and their contribution to World War II. So in May 21, 2022, there was a Seaman Memorial Cruise. And coming up, October 8 and 9 in 2022, there will be San Francisco Flea Week Cruise. And you can go to online and book your ticket. So let's enjoy the tour. Sit back, kick back, and relax. Enjoy this hero ship, SS Jeremiah O'Brien, and beautiful. San Francisco, Fisherman Wolf as the backdrop. This video is dedicated to all servicemen that serve in U.S. military, the Navy, the Army, Air Force, the Marine. Salute to you all. And it's really a great honor. And thanks for your service. And stay tuned till the very end. I will mention that this video is dedicated to my dad, who served in U.S. Army during the 1950s in Korean War. So I want to thank my dad and I'm really touched and honored to be on top of SS Jeremiah O'Brien. And stay tuned for the history who will go inside the museum, inside the vessel, and it will be a tremendous virtual tour for you all. Stay tuned!
this is a working ship, so the battery still works. And here is the nice dining hall. Wow, pretty good. I wonder where's the kitchen? Here you go. That's wow, very nice kitchen. It's all stock. Like I said, this is a working ship. Let's go down the hallway. Sail for old 
we've both ghosts and we made was a point called the dead man. Next round set off the mirror, start Portland and wise. We sailed then by Beachy, by Fairly and Dungeness, and bore straight away for the south, for the sights, for the light. And we'll roar like true British sailors, we'll rat, and we'll roar across the sea, till we strike soundings in the channel of old England. From us ship to city, is city, for dirty, for dirty.
that's Hercule Mugen, which is a nice museum. And we will basically talk about the history. So you have a lot of artifacts in this play, as well as the videos that talk about history. Where the German O'Brien was born in 1944. So we're heading down there. Once again, very steep stairs. So try to hold the rail when you head down. This is a rather a large area, as you can see. A lot of on display. There's a lot of chair, and you can sit down. And they are showing the history of Jeremiah O'Brien, the SS. Let's go sit down and let's watch. And I try to go to you closer up front so you can actually see the text of the video. And you will talk about when O'Brien was born and what was the mission. And basically, O'Brien came out and try to participate in the 50 year anniversary of the D-Day because he made a tremendous contribution. So let's sit down, sit back and relax and watch this hero ship, SS Jeremiah O'Brien. Enjoy.
want to salute to all the midshipmen, all the servicemen in the Navy, U.S. Army, U.S. Force. Jeremiah Ryan, you are really a hero ship. And thanks for coming back. So back to San Francisco. And that's your permanent home. So I encourage all the tourists, if you come out to San Francisco, come to visit this hero ship. And if you have time, also visit the Pampanito submarine right next door. And you will get amazing experience. Salute to all the servicemen.
farewell and adieu to you, fair Spanish lady. Farewell and adieu to you, ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail for old England. And hope very shortly to see you again. We'll grant and we'll roar like true British sailors. We'll grant and we'll roar across the salt sea till we strike soundings in the channel of. the virtual tour or the actual tour for myself I'm really honored and privileged to be an American and I want to thank my dad who served in US Army 
during the 1950s in Korean War. And I want to thank my dad. And I really am very thankful to all the servicemen and who served in the World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam War, and also Desert Storm, and all the war. Thank you for defending our country. Because of you, we have the freedom. And thanks, Dad. I want to dedicate this video to my dad. You are my hero. And thanks for serving in U.S. Army. And you made a tremendous role model. And at the end, I want to wish my father and all of you Happy Father's Day, which is coming up in a week. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.